All right, it's December 5th, 2024. I'm so glad that you are joining me this morning uh, for this time of devotion. I can't think of a better way to start a day than to get into the word of the Lord. And so we're in 1 Samuel chapter 3 today, verses 2 and 3. While you're turning there, uh, let me encourage you, if you've not yet subscribed to this channel, please take a moment and do so. You can do so with a little red box at the bottom right of this video, or maybe a little spot down under there on YouTube's page, you can subscribe. But we'd love for you to take the opportunity to do that and share the video with anyone who you think it might be an encouragement to. Well, with that said, let's jump into 1 Samuel chapter 3, verses 2 and 3. It says, At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his own place. And the lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was. Okay, so in this passage here, we find a, a serene nighttime scene where Samuel is resting in the temple near the ark of God, and while Eli is nearby. Okay, so he's resting in the temple near the ark of God while Eli is nearby. Now, I think the detail of Eli's dim eyesight really does serve as a symbolic image of the spiritual condition of Israel's leadership. Physically and spiritually, Eli's vision has faded. And, and this decline highlights the need for a new faithful voice to rise up and restore Israel's relationship with God amidst the dimming light. Samuel's presence in the temple represents a glimmer of hope for Israel's future, a hint of the faithful guidance that God will soon bring through him. Now, the mention of the lamp of God that had not yet gone out is significant here. You see, according to the, the tabernacle practices, the lamp was kept burning through the night as a symbol of God's presence. So even in Israel's spiritual darkness, God's light and presence remained. And this image encourages us to remember that no matter how dark the circumstances, God's light is always with us, guiding us and giving us hope. You know, he does not abandon his people. No, not at all. Even when they drift from him. So Samuel's closeness to the ark of God, a place of reverence and God's dwelling also speaks to the heart and dedication here. I mean, while others might sleep elsewhere, Samuel chose to remain near the Lord, cultivating a relationship that prepares him to hear God's voice. And, and this closeness to God's presence is what ultimately enables Samuel to become a powerful instrument of his will. And it reminds us of the importance of positioning ourselves near God, both in heart and in mind. So today, think about the ways to draw nearer to God in your daily life. Are there lamps of his presence? Prayer, scripture, fellowship, that you can keep burning brightly even in difficult times. Spend time in prayer, asking God to increase your awareness of his presence, especially in moments of darkness. Remember that God's light never fades and he is always ready to guide those who seek him and make it a priority to cultivate closeness with him, knowing that he desires to speak and work through those who remain faithful to him. I sure hope you have a blessed day. I'll look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow. Take care.